Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the increasing triplet subsequence problem which is from lead code number 334 and uh, stay tuned till the end of the video because we will be seeing an important follow up problem of this question. So let's first look at the problem statement. In this problem given an integer array nums return true if there exists a triplet where i is less than j is less than k and uh, the values at i j and k must be strictly increasing that is num set i must be less than num set j and and that must be less than num set k so if this is true uh, then you have to return a true value otherwise uh, you have to return a false value so let's look at an example and conditions for better understanding let's say that you are given this array where you have the elements 5 4 5 7 and 6 9 our goal is to find a triplet which is strictly increasing by strictly increasing we mean this kind of curve and we don't mean this kind of curve this is called non decreasing curve by the way so strictly increasing cannot have two elements in the curve which are equal okay so this is the first condition the second condition is uh, the triplet must be a subsequence so what is a subsequence you can leave any number of items in the middle and you can skip some items and uh, select the items from the future but the ordering must be maintained like if you take a valid triplet from here then you can pick uh, 4, 7 and 9 that is a valid triplet uh, but you cannot uh, say that 7, 4, 9 is valid because the ordering is wrong in this case right so the valid answers here in this case will be 4, 5, 6 I mean you don't need to answer the triplet but I'm just showing you what are the valid answers 4, 5, 6, uh, 4, 6, 9 and then 5, 7, 9 in all these cases you will check that the ordering is always from left to right and uh, hence uh, these are valid subsequences okay now if you compare the subsequences with the sub arrays uh, you know that for the sub array all the elements have to be contiguous and for an array of size n there are order of n square sub arrays but if you want to form subsequences then there will be order of 2 to the power n subsequences because each item will have an option of not getting selected in the subsequence or you can select that item into the subsequence and uh, all the sub arrays are a subset of the subsequences that means whatever is a sub array will definitely be present in the all possible subsequences and there will be more uh, such elements when you skip some elements in between right so this is just for your understanding now we should note that we cannot just pick top three elements and assume it to be a valid triplet as it may not be a subsequence as i said previously like in this case for this example if we pick the top three elements that will be five six and seven right but is this a valid triplet actually it may seem like valid but then the ordering is not maintained the ordering must have been like five six seven from left to right you can have any number of items in between which you might might have skipped uh, but that is not the case here right we are forming five seven six if we move from left to right hence this is not a valid triplet and in this example there will be no valid triplet and that is why you must have uh, returned here false instead of true okay so this is something to keep in mind now uh, one solution can be just a brute force order of n cube solution where you take three loops and actually uh, find the valid triplet but that is an infeasible solution because if you look at the constraints it the length of the array is less than equals to 5 into 10 to the power of 5 where if you make the cube of it then it will be around 10 to the power of 16 and uh, that is totally infeasible you must always remember that you should solve all the solutions to below 10 to the power 8 computations which will be below one second okay so the first solution is longest increasing subsequence if you know longest increasing subsequence is fine otherwise you can follow my video i link it in the description section below uh, so i've already made a n square solution video for the lis i'll make order of n log n solution as well but when you are solving this you must solve using the n log n solution n square solution will not work in this case this first solution is not the optimal solution but still it will get submitted i'll show you how uh, but uh, let's consider that this is the given array in this case the lis is four five six nine okay the longest increasing subsequence and the length of longest increasing subsequence is greater than equals to three in this case hence you can always form a triplet okay because what lis is doing it is finding the length of the longest strictly increasing subsequence and if the longest strictly increasing subsequence is greater than equals to three length then actually you can form the triplet right you can just think about it it will always be possible 
therefore uh, you have to return true when the length of lis is greater than equals to 3 otherwise false so the time complexity assuming you are solving lis using n log n technique will be order of n log n and the space complexity will be order of 1 even though lis uses an array but still i can show you that you can maintain only size 3 lis and the size 3 can be considered as order of 1 i'll show you the code at the end of the video so stay tuned now why will the lis solution work according to the given constraints uh, if you remember i told you that the number of elements that is the size of the array is less than equals to 5 into 10 to the power of 5 now if you take the log of this base 2 it will be equivalent to 20 right now n log n value if you calculate multiply the value of n max value of n with uh, log n then you will get 10 to the power of 7 approx which is less than 10 to the power of 8 and therefore your solution will work within one second and therefore n log n is a feasible solution and the space complexity is also order of one i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one-on-one -on -one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in now let's try to understand visually uh, what we are trying to solve if you look at the first curve uh, where i have given a bunch of elements and this is the array which you can assume now in this case uh, we are trying to find if there is any valid uh, strictly increasing triplet and if you think about it if you see this curve then the answer would be 0 1 2 because 0 1 2 is a valid strictly increasing triplet and hence you should return true as an answer right they are not asking about the exact triplet and you just have to return true or false now if we carefully think about how to solve it we just have to maintain maybe three values and uh, then we can easily find the triplet so let me show you how to do this let's assume a vertical number line where higher up you go uh, the higher value you get let's assume that we have maintained uh, two variables that means first and second so all the values which are less than uh, first less than equals to first are maintained by the first variable and second actually uh, slices the entire number line into this region right and if you have any third value which is greater than the second then you can maintain three strictly increasing values okay let's take an example for better understanding let's say that the first value is initially assumed to be infinity because you don't have any idea of the first value the second value is also assumed to be infinity i'm not taking any third value now our goal is to reduce this first value as much as you can and also to close this gap of the second value between the first and second as much as you can so the chance of getting a third value higher up which is greater than second will be the highest okay if we keep this first value to the lowest value second value to the lowest value which is greater than first then the chance of getting a third value which is greater than the second will be the highest think about it carefully now let's do a dry run okay a dry run will be a, the best way to explain this uh, let's say that the first element is 5 now my goal is to reduce the first to as low as possible okay first is all already infinity so is 5 lower yes 5 is lower so bring it down okay let's look at the second value it is 4 so can i bring down the first value even further down yes so make it 4 again the third value is 1 so can i bring down the first value even further yes so make it 1 now let's see the next value it is 0 can i bring down the first value even further yes so make it 0 now let's look at 4 can i bring down the first value even further no that is not possible because the first value is 0 here so that means what we have got a higher value than the first so i will try to put it into the second region okay now let's compare it with the second second is already infinity so can i bring down the second value lower which must be greater than first yes it is possible how are we uh, uh, maintaining that it must be greater than first because 4 is first compared with first and since it is greater than 0 that's why we are comparing 4 with second it is in an if else statement type okay we will not compare with second if it is not greater than the first right so let's compare it with the second and now this will be updated to 4 right so that is how it is updated now let's see the next value 3 
can i bring down the first uh, below zero using three no you cannot three is a larger value now compare three with the second can i bring down the second uh, further below below four yes it is possible because three is a smaller value so let's uh, update this to three again let's look at the value one if you look at the value one then can i bring down this first below zero no can i bring down the second below three yes so make it one again check out for two can i make the first come below zero no can i make the second come below one no so two is a higher value than second so as soon as uh, your if else statement goes beyond the second comparison that means you found a value which is larger than first and also a value which is larger than second maintaining the order and that's how you found the third element which is larger right two which is larger than the first and second and hence you have found the triplet and even if you had many more elements here you don't need to compare and you can simply return true that yes there exists a triplet and this is how you can solve it in just order of n time and order of one space let's look at a different example and try to solve it so this is the second one in this case i will again maintain the first to be infinity the second to be infinity and let's try to solve it so initially the if condition will be hitting the first and this is in the else if condition and the else condition will always return a true statement if you reach to the third case that means you have found an element which is even greater than the second element now 5 will be updating this first to 5 3 will be updating this to 3 because we will try to uh, bring down the first value the 0 will be updating this to, to 0 so you see how the first is getting updated we try to take the trough that means the lowest point and put it in the first variable right then we will see this 3 now 3 is larger than this 0 okay so the second case will hit the second okay the second is infinity so bring it down to 3 okay now you will check with 1 1 is larger than this uh, 0 but smaller than a uh, 3 so this will be 1 now minus 1 now minus 1 is smaller than the first so that is why this will be updated to minus 1 and 2 which is larger than minus 1 larger than 1 and uh, so the third case will hit and hence you have found the triplet okay now in this case also you need to return true now if you carefully look at this example you will think like uh, but the first value is this one the second value is this minus one and the third value is two but this is not a triplet because this is not ordered right but again if you think why the first was assigned to be minus one the first was assigned to be minus one because we found a smaller value than one okay and even a smaller value than the previously assigned first value if you think carefully why did this minus one did not update the second variable it is because the minus one must have been even smaller than the first variable and this is the flow of our if else statement right so if it was even smaller than the first variable and the second must always maintain that it is greater than the first variable so it doesn't matter if the first value got lower because the second value was higher than the previous first value right and therefore uh, this ordering in this case doesn't make sense okay we do not require to actually return the exact triplet we just need to return true or false and hence it is completely fine again if you do a dry run then you will understand the second case as well right now let's do a dry run on a simple example like finding an increasing subsequence of length 3 while parsing uh, so we are again maintaining the first and second so this is the first if statement and this is in the else if statement and if you hit the third case then you have to return true simply okay now let's start from here now 5 is smaller so this will be 5 4 is smaller so this will be 4 again 7 is larger and smaller than infinity so this will be 7 again 3 is smaller than 4 so this will be 3 again 0 so this will be 0 again this is 9 greater than 0 greater than uh, 7 so we are returning true now even if we had a many more items to be processed but still we will simply return true and answer it so this is uh, being solved in just one pass therefore order of n solution in every pass there can be maximum three comparisons okay so n into 3 is order of n and uh, the space complexity will be order of 1 because we are just taking two variables first and second so this solution will actually uh, solve your question in optimal time now considering the follow-up uh, we need to solve for k increasing subsequence in the current question the k value is equals to 3 but if it was 4 or 5 then it will be very cumbersome to maintain those many variables and that is why uh, let's assume that our k value is equals to 4 so we are solving for 4 okay the uh, quadruplet you can say now how to do that 
So instead of maintaining three variables and writing too many if else statements, we will maintain an array of size four simply. Okay, and we will do the similar kind of parsing. That means this will be in the first if statement, this will be in the else if, then this will be in else if, and this will be the final else case, right? So let's start with two. If you follow the same technique, we are moving the if else check from left to right, and we are trying to minimize all the values. So if you minimize this value, it will become two. Again, four. Compare it with the first value all the time. Okay, so two is smaller. So move to the second check, and this will become four. Again for zero. Again restart the check from the beginning, and this will become zero. Again this six. Compare with zero. It is larger. I mean six is larger. Again six is larger. So this will be six. Compare with three. Zero is smaller. Four is uh, larger. So you can say that we can reduce this value. Compare with nine. So this becomes, uh, uh, I mean, smaller. This is smaller. This is smaller. So last one can be reduced. Now, as soon as you can reduce the last number, this means that you have already found the quadruplet. And simply without even checking any other elements, if the uh, if the last index element was updated, then you can simply answer it. And you have to use two loops: one for this loop and another one for the second array here. And therefore, it is order of n k time complexity, and the space complexity will be order of k. I hope you understood the follow-up as well. Let's look at all the three code solution. Now, this is the code for uh, LIS solution, which is in n log n. Uh, you can simply study about LIS, or I'll share my video in the description section. You can go and check it out. Uh, now, I assume that you already know LIS, right? So, uh, the second solution, which is the optimal solution for this question, is uh, using the two variables first and second and and uh, initializing them infinity right instead of writing integer max uh, you have to write long max because i i just saw that the constraints are i mean going till integer max so you have to take long max you have to be careful with, with that if you do with integer max maybe you will get stuck at some test case so please take long max in this case so first second and then you simply iterate over all the values so if first is greater than equals to numpy you update the first so we are trying to reduce the first as low as we can okay and the same thing we are going to do for the second if the value is larger than the first then we will go with the second check and we will try to reduce second as much as we can but it should be larger than the first one and then if we can find a third value which is uh, larger than first and second then we have found the triplet and you can return the answer so this is for three increasing subsequence. But what if you are asked to uh, solve for k increasing subsequence? So in the k increasing subsequence, you see I have taken long max here. So you should take long max. In the k increasing subsequence, uh, the entire code is same. Uh, but instead of uh, having a fixed k value equals to three, I have I've taken k value equals to three because it is a triplet question. You, it can be a general question as well. And simply uh, you have to write in this way for every array element you have to iterate through the k size internal array right and you have to just reduce each of the value as i had explained in the dry run and finally after running uh, the inner loop every time you can check if the last index was updated if the last k minus 1th index was updated that is it is no more uh, infinity then you can return true that you have found that uh, k size increasing subsequence right and uh, otherwise if after trying every possibility you can return false saying that there was no k size increasing subsequence okay so i hope you were able to understand it if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask in the comment section below like and share our video and subscribe to our channel for more such programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you